What's up guys, it's Dead Aim Headshot. I just wanted to make a video on um, the Hapage HD PVR2. A lot of people seem to be having trouble with it. I've had quite a few questions about it and how to fix the crashes. Uh, what happens is when you open, you press the button or whatever, or you open the ArcSoft software, it crashes the capture module when you try to record. Anyways, first thing I need you to do is install all the stuff that has came with a CD with it for you. And make sure you install that. Then, um, I'll post links to this all in the description. And, uh, download, go to this, the Hapods website, and download the HD PVR2 Windows Driver 1.2 point blah blah blah. Install that. Then, don't restart yet, go ahead and install, download and install the installation CD version 1.3. Install that, then restart. Okay, now, next I'll put the link to the files that I've gotten from the ArcSoft. And, you know, it's kind of BS the way the whole thing went, because they were just... Uh, Hapage and ArcSoft are going back and forth blaming each other with it, which I believe it is ArcSoft software, not the drivers for the Hapage, because I've had it work with, uh, let's see, it was the third-party app, Capture For Me, it records. But that's a trial software, you have to pay 20 bucks for the full version, and the trial only lets you record two minutes. So if you only need to record two minutes, go ahead with it. But, you know, I, I record long sessions, and I go and pick out the best clips, so it just didn't work for me. And I didn't want to spend any more money because I should have, you know, 160 bucks or 170 bucks after tax. It's, you know, you should get what you pay for. You should get, you know, your your software that came with it to work. But my theory on it is, is it's because it works flawlessly on my laptop, and I believe it's because my desktop has a Radeon graphics card, uh, Sapphire uh, 6870. Uh, I don't think it works with the drivers that great with the Catalyst software. I think because my laptop, my laptop's shitty, by the way. It's like a single core. It's got Intel built-in graphics card, you know, just stock shit. So I believe it's just not compatible that great with the Radeon drivers. But um, once you get this downloaded, you'll have to type in your email and accept the terms. Uh, download that, and it'll be in a RAR file. And I'll have to... You'll open the RAR file up. It'll have three files. One's the instructions of where to put it. Uh, I'll put that in there for you. And then you'll have the arcdmux.axe and the mp4muxer.axe. Those are the two files you need to replace. They, the ArcSoft said these are damaged files or something, and that's what's causing it. And you'll take those, you'll unzip them, and then copy these two files to either, if you have a 32-bit system, program files, or if you're 64-bit, I'm a Windows 7, 64-bit, so I go into program files, x86, go to ArcSoft, go to Total Media Showbiz, then go to com.arcsoft.vea.arccodec. Paste those two files in here. It'll pop up asking if you want to uh, overwrite. Yes, you want to overwrite. Make sure you do this last, because if you do this first and then you install all this, it's just going to re-overwrite everything. Uh, but do it in that order, then restart again. And when you start back up, if you're using a PlayStation, don't, or, you know, your PlayStation, you have to have, like, not HDMI because of this encryption or whatever on it, but component cables. But it should work like this with the Xbox 2, I'm not sure. I've used it on my PlayStation. I haven't used it on my Xbox yet. Um, start. Don't start your PlayStation up. Have your PlayStation off. Click the little button on the top that starts the capture module uh, first. It should pop up the capture uh, thing, and it'll be a black screen. It'll be recording black. It might pop up say, can't record this, but it'll pop up, and it won't crash. Once it does that, you should be able to go in and just turn your PlayStation on, and it'll pop up with your preview and everything. You'll be able to record fine. Uh, that's what's worked for me. I have to do that whole little rain dance to get it all to work, but, you know, at least I'm able to record. Um, but if you have another computer, like I did from my laptop, record. You can record on, you know, a shitty computer as long as the drivers are compatible, like, because all... All of the, you know, conversion and video codecs is all handled by the HD PVR2. So you could have, like I do, like a single core laptop and record with it and then go to your, if you have a even D on your better computer, just go in there and uh, do your editing on it. Because the editing and all that stuff worked for me on the ArcSoft software, so. Uh, but I usually use Vegas now, so. But anyways... 
record on like another computer if you can, if you have a Radeon with Catalyst software, or if maybe you can try downloading uh, some non-stock drivers, maybe it'll work better with that, or hopefully they'll update something and fix it soon. But anyways, this was works for me, and sometimes it still crashes with my desktop that has the Radeon. But I just do a restart and go through the steps, and it usually works. Just make sure your PlayStation is off whenever you start your capture module. And make sure you start it with this. That's what I've always had to do. And you should be able to record. Now, if this helped you any, uh, if you have any more questions, like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out my other videos. I try to put up funny, entertaining stuff or stuff that's going to you know, help you with something, uh, instruct you on things. So if you have any more questions, just send me a comment, a message, whatever. Uh, I'm on Twitter. Uh, all my stuff is in the description below. Just check it out. Subscribe if you like it. Uh, if you don't, fuck you. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, check it out and subscribe. I've got a giveaway going on right now. Um, it's, since I got an Xbox here uh, on Thanksgiving, I uh, went out and got it on the Black Friday. My father-in-law stood in line for me, uh, got it, and uh, I gave him the cash for it. Um, I'm doing a giveaway for Halo 4, uh, not the game, but the do XP codes. I've got a bunch of drinks, drink cases that have the codes. It's, it adds up to 24 or more matches of double XP. So what I'll be doing with that is I got all the information to uh, enter in my previous video. So just go into my uploads and go to my video right before this is titled obviously Halo 4 Do XP Giveaway. But um, if you have an Xbox and you play Halo 4, definitely enter in that. I'll be doing the giveaway on Wednesday. So far nobody's entered. So you have a pretty good chance of winning. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys. I'll catch you later.